Let's just be real for a second. Mr. B is going to like die of happiness. Look how cheesy this is. Oh. I made some turkey cupcakes and they were a little bit of a Pinterest fail. Hello fellow travelers and welcome or welcome back to the Biggs Homestead Kitchen. My name is Cynthia and today we are doing a meal plan, a what's for dinner, and we're making a brand new recipe once again out of, whoa, Quick Cooking Magazine 2005. Tonight we're making cheesy beef pasta that was sent in by Miss Janalee Watkins of Vernal, 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 Utah. If you know how to say it, leave me a comment down below. Vernal, Utah. We're gonna do this and we're gonna make some super cute turkey cupcakes. So if you're ready, press the like button to support the channel and let's go. This week is gonna be all about leftovers. So we've got stuffed peppers that's in the freezer that the stuffing is a freezer meal, the cheesy beef pasta, and then we've got the beef stew with venison that I didn't eat last week. So we are getting rid of everything that was in the freezer. There's the turkey ready to get thawed out for Thanksgiving dinner. On Friday, November 25th, we had our annual Friendsgiving. So here's what happened with my pre-holiday, pre-Thanksgiving meal plan and filming and all of that. I just decided to give myself a break. Like, I didn't film anything during Friendsgiving. I didn't film the desserts. I didn't film any of it. I know after the cleaning, the shopping, the prepare, you know, the preparation for the big meal, the preparation for Friendsgiving, I was just wore out. How did you guys hold up during the, you know, preparation for the big holiday? I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. How did you fare mentally, spiritually, and physically during the buildup to Thanksgiving? Like I wanted a bit of a break, but let's go straight to the recipe. We're already off to a weird start. Okay, so I have this great value cake mix. We're just going to make that make some cupcakes. It's going to be so easy. The recipe at hand, we're going to need some tube pasta minus gluten-free. You don't have to do gluten-free. That's cool. Now the recipe calls for Swiss cheese, cheddar cheese, and Parmesan cheese. We have Parmesan cheese. We have the cream cheese. We have provolone cheese. I thought this was Swiss. It is not. We have some mozzarella cheese. And we have some cheddar cheese. All right, Joe, let's see if we can make this work. Then we've got our hamburger that I canned in uh, July of 2022. That is a beef bouillon cube, so don't worry about that. And diced tomatoes. Mr. B is really excited for this one. He loves pasta, he loves cheese, and he loves tomatoes. My water is salted like the ocean and ready to boil my pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and double this recipe because it says makes only two servings so you don't have to deal with a lot of leftovers. But you and I both know that leftovers are what we thrive on here at the Biggs household because I don't like cooking like a bunch of times. I wanna cook once and eat a couple times. Pasta is boiling. Next step, I'm gonna take this canned hamburger that I have, that I canned this year, and I'm gonna throw it in the fry pan. I don't have any green onions, so I just chopped up like a regular onion. I love home canned hamburger. This is a huge time saver. No mess, just throw it in and go. Next step, we got the beef, it's good. We got the onions, they're good. We're gonna stir in the tomatoes and bring it to a boil. Add the tomatoes with the juice. Okay, it like instantly boiled. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I don't know. I threw in the cream cheese. It says to go ahead and stir that up until the cream cheese is melted. Now, so far, this is really easy. So here's the story with the Parmesan cheese. I looked in the fridge, in the fridge basket, in the sandwich basket up here, and I saw this and I thought, oh, this is my block of Parmesan cheese that I've been saving for this recipe. And it is peanut butter fudge from the church fair and the Parmesan was nowhere to be found. I don't, I just, this, this is life. <laughs> I found some blue cheese. I don't think blue cheese and tomatoes go together very good. I'm gonna stick with the mozzarella and the provolone. The cheese will melt better if I grate it first. Next up, pasta going in. The provolone slices, those will melt I fine. I know that this recipe called for a quarter cup of each cheese, however, I think cheese is something that we measure with the heart and not really with the measuring cup. 
I might go ahead and put those other two pieces of provolone in there. I don't really know. This looks fantastic. It looks super cheesy. Look, I love it when the cheese just is like, what? Yes, ma'am. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite kind of cheese? I am a sucker for blue cheese and I know it has mold in it before you get down in the comments and tell me it has mold in it. I know, and I still love it and it's still my favorite. Second favorite, Parmesan. Let me know what your favorite cheeses are down in the comments. Just keeping it real. This is what the after looks like. I didn't actually put the Parmesan cheese in the recipe. I decided the provolone, mozzarella, and the cheddar would be enough. And the cupcakes are done. These little turkeys were my Pinterest inspiration. And then this is how mine came out. I was gonna use chocolate chips for the eyeballs and my chocolate chips were huge. Look at all this cheese. So after a quick taste test straight out of the skillet, I added a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, salt and pepper because it desperately needed spices. It was really plain. It just tasted like tomatoes, beef and cheese. And um, we don't do that here at Big's household. It smells like, almost like pizza. It smells so good. Well, there was a debacle with the Parmesan. I thought there was Parmesan in the fridge and it was peanut butter fudge. So good. Is it so good? Oh my gosh. Is it? I already love pasta too. Welcome to the one here we eat now. The cheese is ridiculous. We don't eat, we don't eat this much cheese. <laughs> like he instinctively knew. He wasn't even in here. It definitely needed the extra onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, 100%. It's a winner. Wow. This is, this is a recipe when you don't wanna make a huge mess in your kitchen. You just want something, it's in a skillet, it's under 10 minutes and you're out. Oh. The cheese. Yeah. That and some garlic bread. Um. And a salad. Like a little salad, a little ranch. Yeah, yeah. A little Italian. A little side salad for sure. A little side salad. Too bad lettuce is like nine dollars for just one to, head. Just to bring you down off this. Off this cheese explosion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Jenna Lee Watkins from Vernally, oh, Utah. He's just leaving with the skillet. He'll be back. Vernal, Vernal, Utah. If you know how to say that, put it in the comments down below. Thank you again, and remember everybody, no matter where you roam, you can always find your way back home to the Biggs Homestead Kitchen. Just follow the smell.